Okay, so in this problem, we know that k equals the square root of 31, and m equals the square root of 36. We want to know, if we plot these on a number line, where should those points go? So, let's just say that um, the square root of 30, oops, square root of 26 is m. Okay, the square root of 36 equals 6. The square root of 25 equals 5. Now these numbers, the square root of 31 and the square root of 26, are between these two. So that also means their square roots have to be between 5 and 6. There's only one picture here that has that happening, and that's choice A. The two plots are between 5 and 6. Here, M is below 5. How could that be? If the square root of, of 25 is 5, and that's right here, how could the square root of 26, which is bigger than 25, be less than 5? It doesn't work. Same thing with K. How could the square root of 31 be above 6 when the square root of 36, right, is right here at 6? So how could we take the square root of 31 and then suddenly get a bigger value? Same thing with C and D. These values just don't work. Now here, let's think about for a moment, why is m closer to 5 than k? Well, if m is the square root of 26, and the square root of 25, oops, 25 equals 5, well, 25 and 26 are only one apart. Whereas with k, which equals the square root of 31, that is 6 away from 25. So although k is between 5 and 6, the square root of 31, 31 is further from 25 than 26 is from 25, so it's further from 5 than m. So you can even get a sense of where these points should be in relative to 5 and 6, not just between them, but which one's closer. You can tell by subtracting the numbers you're taking the square roots of. Whichever is closer to a landmark here, like the square root of 25, when you plot it, that decimal approximation will also be closer. Okay, I hope that helped.